Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Edge of 3D. So, if you've been following my channel, we've built belt printers. Don't have any around here. We've done uh, Core XY conversions on Ender 5s called the uh, Mercury 10Gs. Um, there's one right there and one down there you can't see. But we've got something new now. Uh, this was sent to me by a company called Honey Badger. And it is a Voron V0.1 budget kit. Um, it's only available on Amazon. I'll put the link down there. Not, not on the bench down there, but in the video description. Scroll down below. You get the idea. Anyway, I'll put a link to it down there. It is uh, $549.99, $550, and $25.84 shipping. It looks like if I order one today, I can have a Tuesday, but I don't need to order another one. I already have one. So um, we'll get into it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to look at everything that's included with the kit. It is a very complete kit. It does have a lot of high quality name brand parts and yeah we'll get to it in a minute but first you order the kit you get everything you need but the printed parts and then you have to print all the parts right here so we're gonna go gray and blue or blue and silver something like that this is all the motion parts and this is all of the skirt and enclosures or parts for the enclosure and this is the top hat um, fortunately i have a printer that can print the top hat in one piece but uh you can go to the stl files and they also have it divided up into four pieces it's split here at each one of these joints and these but i can print it in one piece i have some larger format printers anyway there's all the printed parts and again, I'll put the link to this in the video description down below. Um, it is an affiliate link, so if you buy it by clicking on my link, I get a couple of bucks, or actually I think it's 27 cents. But hey, you know, buy a couple of those, I can retire from my real job and do this full time. Or so it seems other people can do that. Anyway, let's dig into this and take a look at this kit. Get these folded out of the way here. So this is the first tray out of the box. It's got the hardware, screws, nicely packaged, uh, good elasticity yellow die springs anyway it's got all your nuts screws washers or they call these shims but washer shims take your pick a uh, set of Bowden Bowden set of Bontech gears uh, pneumatic couplers and the rest of the parts for the Bontech gears um, yellow bed springs little tiny feet for a little tiny printer Flange bearings, um, those have got to be specially for something because of the design on them. They are uh, an M3 T-nut and M3 lock nuts. Looks like uh, 55 M3 by 5 by 4 brass inserts. And more screws. Self-tapping M2 by 10s. Got some color inserts for the tool head here. Looks like you've got teal, red, and I think there's a blue in there. If I can get these open. Yep, teal, red, and blue, and that'll be for the uh, tool head. And some Voron logos, also teal, red, and blue. Uh, fetus 
Dragonfly BMO hot end. So nice hot end. I've used those quite a bit. Here we've got uh, TMC 2209 steppers, uh, heat sinks, and this would be the Wi-Fi adapter for the board. We'll get to that in a minute. So look, we've got, uh, there's a hot end cooling fan and two blower fans. Already pre-terminated. Looks like the wires are plenty long enough to get everywhere. And this would be a SLA or centered 3D printed tool head. Really nice quality there. Really strong. Uh, nice that that's included and you don't have to print all that yourself. And when I say nice, I mean really nice. Alright, this box here, this tray here, we'll start off with the main board. It is the Fly Gemini. And I'll tell you what's nice about this. The Raspberry Pi or the small form factor single board computer is built into this you don't have to have a Raspberry Pi and right now in this market to go out and buy a Raspberry Pi 4 you gotta pay scalper prices you're gonna pay a third to half of the cost of this entire kit just to get a Raspberry Pi this comes with the Fly Gemini board everything's right there and I don't know I guess I should have pointed out before I went stuffing it back in the bag. If you look, all the JST connectors for every connection are pushed in there. There's all the crimps to terminate it. There's more JST connectors. This is more stuff for the board. It's got the micro JST connectors already terminated. This would be for things like BL Touch and that sort of stuff where they plug in over here so they're already pre-terminated all you got to do is solder wires together got a bunch of jumpers there got spade connectors for the power from the power supply that's nice here is the build plate 24 volt 60 watt heater a hundred and 25 degrees Celsius thermal fuse. That's nice that it's included because Rarely are things like this included and then you have to go and try and find them Here's the uh, spring steel PEI build sheet It's got the powder coat texture PEI on one side smooth PEI on the other uh, 3m backed magnetic Plate to stick to the bed and a six millimeter Mike six aluminum build plate already pre-drilled and then I do believe it's already got a hole drilled and tapped for mounting the uh, thermal fuse right there very nice And again, quality parts in this kit. Got some wire loom, stepper wires for between the board and the steppers, uh, pre-terminated micro switches, all three for X, Y, and Z axis. We have the thermistor, and I'm going to assume it's a PT100. I won't know until we actually get it built. This is a... 50 watt heater cartridge for the hot end split loom wire this is really nice stuff makes it great for doing things like umbilicals and that because you can roll it open lay your wiring in there and roll it shut see that 
instead of having to try to feed everything from one end all the way through. Uh, looks like we've got the wiring for the going from the power supply over to the board. And a whole bag full of these butt connectors and I really like these. What they are is if you see that silver band in there that is a low temp tin collar. You strip your wires make sure where they're stripped they pass each other through that tin part right there. Take a high temp heat gun heat shrink it it'll shrink down around the wire and then it'll melt that tin and it'll bond that wire really well. That is a nice set of butt connectors to come with a kit like this. And I believe in the description it said this is Gates Belt. Let me go look again right quick. Let me get my tablet to come back to life. Gates 2GT 6mm wide synchronous belt. So that is genuine Gates belt. We have a Moons pancake stepper motor for the extruder. These are Yugo Shine, no, Lead Shine stepper motors for the A and B, which on a core XY is your X and Y, but they call them AB because they both run X and Y. These are 1.8 degree, 1.4 amp steppers. They are Lead Shine 3550 steppers. And the Moon's 36 motor. Got the integrated lead screw for the Z-axis with the anti-backlash palm nut. Got a little foam stuck in there. And we've got the uh, 20 tooth pulleys that go on the uh, A and B motors and their pal G's. So that's everything in that tray. This tray, power supply, JR mains inlet, some tools, but let's look at this extrusion. And the first thing I want to point out, as you look at the end of that, they're black. They're not black, long extrusions, and then cut, and you just get this nice black 1515 extrusion with these awful silver ends. I don't know if they dip these after they cut them or if they coat them after they're cut. If they cut the raw and then coat them. I don't know how they're doing it. I just know it's really nice to see that. That is a nice touch. Already pre-drilled with the holes that need to be. I don't know if the camera will pick that one up but there's one right there at the tip of my finger. So that is nice. That is really nice to have quality extrusion that doesn't have the raw silver ends. Uh, just your typical JR mains inlet. They're not pre-terminated but they are more than long enough to get to anywhere inside of a printer that's roughly this big. So don't have to go hunting for wires and all that. And I do believe in another tray there was enough connectors to uh, terminate those. Nice little selection tools. Uh, you got a nice little tweezer for preloading all those tiny little nuts into these rails. Phillips screwdriver. A couple of hex key wrenches. And a couple of hex drivers. That's nice. Don't have to go hunting those down either. And a genuine Meanwell LRS 150-24. So a genuine Meanwell 150 watt 24 volt power supply. 
not some unbranded, no name, never heard of power supply, but the real deal, a real Meanwell power supply. And here's our last tray. 3M VHB tape for mounting your uh, panels. And when I say this is a complete kit, you'll see here in a minute, it's complete. Zip ties. And looks like there is plenty of those. Get that to go back in there. Cable chain. Now the one thing I did notice on this cable chain, and it's not a deal breaker for me, but it is not the style that has the, where you can flip each individual section open, and honestly on cable chain this small, I don't know if that's even an option, or it may just be that it's prohibitively expensive. So, you have to feed the cable in from, the wires in from the end of it. Not the end of the world, and certainly not a deal breaker. Just nice that it's included. One more thing, you don't have to go and look for it. Bowden tubing. I don't remember if it gave it a brand on it or not. It doesn't give a brand on it, which it's fine. Where you're not running a actual Bowden setup with the extruder in one place and the hot end on the other, at least not on this kit, it really doesn't matter. It's just got to get the filament to the hot end or to the extruder. Here's our MG7 150 millimeter rails, five of those. I haven't taken them out of the package yet because they are packed in that stuff that they get packed in and I can already feel it on my hands. So, until we actually start building it, I'm not going to mess with that. And the end of the box. So, to start off with, we have all the pieces for the top hat. Already cut to size. Top piece goes in there. Your side panels. Front and back panel. Well, they were all here. There it is. Need, need four hands to, to do this, but you get the idea already cut to fit. So you don't have to go hunting acrylic. This is two millimeter acrylic. Then this is going to be should be three clear panels for the sides and the front. just a little bit taller than the other so I'm going to assume that's the front door and these are the two sides. This would be the very back panel. It's black acrylic and it's 2.5 millimeter. This would be the basement cover, bottom cover. I think that goes somewhere to do with that. I haven't built a V0 before so it's learning. This is the interior back panel. Already pre-cut, got all the holes for mounting everything. So, there you go. That is the Honey Badger Budget Voron V0.1 kit. Available on Amazon. $549.99. $25.48 shipping. And it's a complete kit. I mean, 
outside of the printed parts, <laughs> everything's there. Now again, I can't stress enough, I have not built a uh, V0 before. In fact, I haven't built a boron before. This will be my first boron. Uh, won't be my last. Because there's another little boron that I really want. The salad port. But we'll get to that. So, 550 dollars. Call it uh, 26 dollars shipping. So, 576 dollars. Seems like a lot for a small form factor printer, but I've done a lot of looking around on these V0s and complete kits, they run seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. And some of those kits don't even have things like the Raspberry Pi or Banana Pi or hell, some of them don't even have a board. They, they just, it's just the kit without electronics. Um, you know, when I'm working on these other printers, people always comment, well, can you build it yourself cheaper? Can you self-source it? And my answer to that is sometimes, maybe. Uh, number one, what's your time worth? When you start going down through the bomb on a V0 and all the little things, they all add up. Um, when you start going to a supplier and ordering thing like one set of Bontech gears, you're going to spend, for good gears, you're going to spend 15 bucks. Cheap gears, seven, eight dollars. But you get what you pay for. Uh, when you start going down through the list of the fasteners needed, the screws, the washers, the nuts, all that. If it says you need 10, Good luck finding a package of 10. You're going to buy a package of 50 or 100 or you're going to buy a kit that has a whole lot more than you need and won't have some of what you need. So, you know, there's just a lot of things to think about. Yeah, you probably can build a V0 self-sourcing it for close to the same amount of money as this, maybe even a little less, depending on how much stuff you have. If you want to wait, you know, if you're going to order AliExpress and really get the bargain deals you're gonna wait a month two months on your stuff to show up if you're like most people nowadays and you gotta have it tomorrow it's gonna to be Amazon you're gonna pay a premium for that $550 $26 shipping $576 I'm looking at it right here I can order one of these right now and have it here on Tuesday August 30th today is uh, Thursday August 25th you can't self-source all of this in that amount of time and get everything. So, you know, I think it's a bargain. I'm going to build it. I'm going to do a series on it as I build it, step by step, all the way up to and including printing the first print with it. Um, we'll see if there's any problems as we go through it. But going down through this box, there is quality parts in there. I mean, it starts off right at the top starts off right at the top with quality parts um, it's not just a bunch of little baggies with screws and you got to figure out it's a tray everything's organized it's all marked right on the lid of the tray what's in each one you're looking at the uh, instructions and it says you need an M2 by 10 you're not looking at a bunch of different little bags you flip the lid open you find your M2 by 10s right there they are you go on about your day so you know there's a there's a value in that sort of stuff right there. And again, what is your time worth? You have to take that into consideration. If you're just doing this to tinker around, it's a hobby and you don't care if you get it done next week or next year, self-sourcing may be a way to go. If you're like me, I get something like this, I want to get it built and get started pushing plastic with it. So this is great, it's all here. So anyway, Hope you guys enjoy this. If you like these videos, hit that like button. It gives me a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And, you know, uh, I'll keep doing these videos. Uh, I'll put links in the description to the different things needed to complete this kit. 
Um, you'll need something to do heat set inserts. You'll need the correct crimpers for crimping the wire, terminating the wires for the uh, uh, JST connectors. And like I say, I'll, I'll put links in the down in the video description. Um, you know, I prefer these IWIS crimping tools. They're made, they work perfectly on those JST connectors. Um, like I say, I'll put links to all that stuff down in this description, and we'll get this thing built. We'll get it pushed in plastic. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching this video. Got any comments? Leave them down there below. I try to answer all of them. I don't get all that many, so I do answer all of them, ones that need answered. And if you're thinking about getting this, click on the link down below. Get on Amazon. Get you one on the way. Let's get them built. Let's get to pushing plastic. I think it's going to be a fantastic printer when it's all said and done. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a wonderful weekend, and peace out, guys.